table and start or Cheryl P. Did you, did you have to move the rules? Or? Who are we missing? Andres. Andres. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've been, he's been out for a couple weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See you. Okay, do we know? We don't really know. I think we, we have had some communication with Andres. He's okay? He's okay. Yeah. 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 Um, well, thanks for doing two classes in one day. Um, let's see. Um, I, uh, let, let me kind of give you the overview here. Um, for those of you that were in the last class, and actually for everybody, we, one of the things we used uh, as, a, as a tool or as a prop, kind of, was an episode of Gordon Ramsay's Restaurant Nightmares. Um, and this is the URL on Hulu. You can actually, I think it's C's US, not UK version. There's two versions of that show. US version, I think it's season four, episode four. And there's a number of places to watch it online. Um, so if you want to see what happened, what they did with this guy, or if you just want to watch it, because I think, for me, it's, it's a little bit, you could make a story of a new journey about that episode. Um, so that's it about that. It's kind of funny seeing Hannah and Luigi up there together. You look not be good now. You know. Um, so here's some tiny print that you can't read, so I'll, I'll uh, explain. Um, this is, you know, you've been seeing this map of the class. Um, so we had a week of hurricane, and then we had a week talking about trauma. Um, and then, so now we've had kind of a makeup week where we have a little dose of that sense making. And tonight we're going to have something kind of new that we introduced because of everything that's gone on and all the back and forth with you folks that we're going to create a journey. Um, and, and so the, in theory, the way it works is that uh, next week we'll have kind of an introduction to dialogue facilitation methods and kind of group dialogue sorts of things. Um, and then talking about facilitating people creating together. Um, making prototypes together, it was a social prototype, and that gets us to the last couple of weeks of the year. Um, what will be two thirds of the way through? <laughs> um, so that's just just to get you oriented in what we're thinking, it's going to happen. Um, so tonight's class, a little bit of housekeeping, not much, unless you've got more stuff I haven't thought of. Um, this thing we're going to create a journey, uh, and then after that, it, assuming we have time, we'll thank you, by the way, for your reflection papers. We don't have them here to get back to you, we're sh so now we're behind. We got two weeks worth to get to you, but um, thank you for those. They, they're really great reading. Um, so but we uh, hope to have time just to spend a little time discussing last week's reading, that big, long, interesting thing about trauma. Um, and then assign them meetings. Yes? Housekeeping. Uh, oh, what I just said, we owe you comments. Um, and how, do you remember this assignment about the final book? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Good. <laughs> How's it coming? Or do you have a question? I haven't quite figured out how I'm going to put it together. Uh -huh. But I'm trying to collect pieces. Mm -hmm. Good. Collecting pieces is, yeah. yeah. Did you post this anywhere? It's in the slides that we didn't post it as a separate page. So I can say that I did put those two slides back in here. So, yes? Did you say that, Mom? No, Mom, we did post it. Well, we did think, post it. Did we post it as a separate document? Yeah. We did. Oh, good. <laughs> I'm so proud. Joe. Yeah, book is put it in book um, So the the idea is that you uh, you make something that's uh, useful to you in the future. It's kind of a, a useful compilation of the things that you've been learning. It, it we're thinking this class, but maybe it makes sense for you to put other things in there too. 
Um, so things like uh, um, approaches and methods and principles maybe would go in there. Your, your notes from it or really good readings or your maybe inspiration and wisdom, quotes and stories and great examples or resources that you want to remember to look at. Sort of going in one place as a reference and inspiration and even little life hacks like, oh, when some, we learned some stuff about clustering that categorization is different than letting the stuff come up from the bottom. Right? So if you're collecting this stuff as you go, it will be a lot easier. Yeah. And there's, there's a second purpose. One, one is for you later. The other is that, um, so this gets back to your question. It, it doesn't have to be a physical book. It could be a PowerPoint deck that you turn into a PDF. It, could be, it doesn't have to be gorgeous but it needs to be useful. Um, but if whatever form you make it in, if you can then create something that you can share digitally. So if you make a physical book, is it photographs and then turn into a PDF? Is it, you know, what is it? Because we'll all have access to each other's book. Yeah? So there'll be this pool of this collection of goodies that you may then harvest later, or somebody did a really good one. People decide to put them together. I don't know what's going to happen. So. And we would have the option, uh, this is something you could opt into, of uh, sharing them with next year's class, or sharing them with the world. Yeah, so form, you choose. If, you, if you're having a hard time with that and want us to pick one for you, we're happy to do that. Um. I take a lot of notes, but sometimes I write C slides so that I don't have to write everything yeah. that you've already written. Is there a way that we can have access to like, all the slides for the classes? I was so thinking about that and then walk over. Aren't they all more? Yeah. yeah. They're, they're, they're yeah. all in more, but kind of sprinkled they through don't, the I think you history. can't access all the passwords. No, There's a lot. Like, I have I've tried to search past weeks, weeks and sometimes I think the you have to keep going. So I, yeah. what if we just, well, you know the library. Yeah, put them all in the Just take a library folder and put them all in one yep. folder. Yep, that'll do it. Okay, well, I mean, okay. Yes? And then I'll, I can just download them. That's it, yeah. Okay, great. Yes. I'm not sure I can, I, I, I can meet you that far. Right? <laughs> <laughs> no, I just want to make sure that I can actually that I can keep it. That's not yes. really just a matter. And what I've been putting up there is PDFs, not PowerPoint. Is that work for you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. Still slide. Okay. Still, still slide. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, you talk. And some of the classes, there's not very many of them. We put kind of facilitation notes or teachers' notes or something. And some of them we we might make more of more, more of those notes than others. So if we think it's we have anything to share with you, we've been putting it up, but it's not for every week. It's like this week I have. Just a little bit, and but it might be worth sharing, so I might put it down. Yeah? We can have fun with this, right? You can have fun with this. No. Yeah. If no. you want to, if you want to do it in any form, that's. Uh, <laughs> you think you <laughs> I think you really should, so if you have fun with it, you're kind of investing yourself in it, yeah? yeah. And it's something you'd like to do. So if you can find a way that you're excited to do this, that's really great. You know, that now it, it's going to come to life a little more and it'll have more value for you uh, later on. And it'll be more exciting for others. Mm -hmm. And if you do something like say, I'm just gonna make a website, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm going to get a, uh, you know, a, a free blog, and I'm just going to start filming in there. The thing is, though, it's useful. To make it. Don't just start filling up blog entries because that's not always the best thing for you to refer to or to just be a little thoughtful about your poor future self that's going to be in a hurry. Uh, and in some teen situation, like what was that? I know there were good resources that had to do with this. Uh, with, uh, you know, with interviewing, but where are they? Yeah. Cool. Cool. Let me just stop it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it will be a blog.
Um, anything else about that? Nope. Any other housekeeping? Any other loose ends or mysteries or complaints? Send them to share. <laughs> Um, okay, so we, the paper we did like a month back, are we supposed to do it again or whatever? Uh, I'm having a lot of problems with that. Oh Just doing boy. That. Ooh, you're not alone. Yeah. Did I get a, so, we, we, so, what be six and seven? The, 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 re, the rewrite, the second draft? Yeah. yeah. So, um, so again, a note of thank you. So, uh, you're not the only one, a lot of people go like, what? Um, and some people ask for conversations. We've had some good email exchanges with people. We've had Skype conversations. Um, so, I heard a yoink. <laughs> yeah, I'm on the wrong Wi-Fi. Can I just change and, and call me back when you've answered that? Yes, we will. We'll call you right back. Okay. okay. Just got to plug in the wire. Um, so, that those conversations taught us that those approaches still aren't clear <laughs> and that there are that it's sort of like the uh, this thing of asking you to uh, imagine you actually kind of planning how you were going to work through apply one's approaches to a particular situation can be confusing depending on what you pick. So um, uh, if you're still working on that and you're still confused, why don't we just talk on the side about it? And that goes for anybody. I can be here in the morning. We can set up a Skype. We can write you lengthy emails. <laughs> uh, and for some people, like, they're like, wow, I'm, I'm starting to have stuff that I can just paste from other people's conversations. And they're like, yeah, and you're asking the same thing other people ask. Here's the compendium. And maybe that should go up in the in the library too. Compendium of FAQs. <laughs> yeah. Um, Can you just write next to like the email? Just because. Just because. <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> uh, I can do that. <laughs> Silly ones too, really long, really silly ones. Um, so if anyone else is in that same boat, uh, the the thing is, these this assignment is to help you understand, not to give you something to do that we can grade, right? Because it, this thing, we have to give grades, but that's not why we're giving assignments. And, uh, so let's work through it. Okay. Um, that's it? Okay. Uh, let's see if Tom is back on. Some of them are
So there was just a question about are we grading pass fail or letter grades? Um, and some think, some among you think it's pass fail, and we were in the question that it's letter grades. So we will. The good news is it's even much easier to go from letter grade tracking to pass fail. And but also when in our feedback we haven't been giving you grades. Like I haven't been writing. A or B or I just like good, thank you. Um, <laughs> so, so you may feel if you feel insecure about oh, oh, sure my God, am I on a track for C here? Because I took a good grade, am I am I getting docked a grade a letter grade? So I mean this isn't freshman English, you know. Um, so uh, if you would like us to make our grading policy more clear. I won't say it right now because I would rather like think about how to say that to you. Is that a request? First one we have to clear up what's yes. going on. I'm pretty sure at the boot camp they yeah. said all of our classes are passed out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Education is about the intrinsic reward of gaining yeah. knowledge. Right. Not the about struggle. the extrinsic reward of getting a grade. But so it, it may be, um, and it, but if you pass, we'll give uh, uh, you a gold star. Maybe gold star or no star. Yes. Why not? I'm ready for that question. Why not? Yeah. Um, why not? Because yeah. we, we talked. <laughs> we because we talked about it and decided that way. Um, <laughs> so, Why not? Why not? Why not? <laughs> so you heard, the, the conversation is whether they can do their books together, and I said no, and they said why. Um, well, I think our discussion was that it's really good to understand, even if you have less information, but you've gone through the information personally, it's much more value for yourself, as opposed to having a thicker thing where everyone goes in their own direction and do research and compile something that you don't have necessarily a broad, uh, a personal experience with all the information in the book. So there's a trade-off. Together, you might be able to make a single thing that is fatter and has more in it and so on. But there's something about the process of making it where you decide what's what you want to include and where you're going to put it and how it's going to be there that is maybe where you want. That was our theory. The man has spoken. I having somebody else's ideas working with mine. So I've got that's, something that's half-baked, and then you add to it, and then I yeah. give you an insight and give it back to you. That's why you can take the benefit of all these team courses and collaborative sessions and put them into your book. <laughs> yeah, no, I'll you're allowed to talk to each other. Not my problem. I'm going to get your crappy book. You're allowed to get it. Might only be a silver star. <laughs> <laughs> No. It's going to be a C, it's okay with the crap. <laughs> but I'd rather give you an A that I learned more earlier. Yeah, I, so I mean, it's, it's a trade off from our point of view. Our call was that um, you're at many different levels, and that, that, that different parts of this material is new to different people. Some people have clustered professionally, others, this is the first time they ever heard the term affinity cluster. Mm -hmm. Right? So, uh, so. You know, compile your what you think is going is valuable, and uh, that sort of thing. Okay. 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 Thanks. Um, I'm going to stop thinking about that because I could worry about that. Oh, sorry. Is that so the draft of this book is due next class? Well, so. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. So they, the, uh, the reason for the uh, the reason.
reason for that schedule is we were trying to give you milestones so you don't mind doing it the last week while you're also trying to do the last stuff for clients and the last stuff. So we'll check in with you next week and so, you know, we'll kind of keep bringing this to the foreground because if, if you're compiling, like what's it, I'm starting to pull together, what, so what's a draft? A draft is like, like so 12, 10, which is two or three weeks away, maybe three. The, la the, the, the last week before the final week, you should kind of know what the thing is and have its parts together. So that the last week is just production and refinement and fill out that last part and set a set a work plan for yourself. This is a, this is a problem with these project assignments. Yeah, is that you can't just put it off till Monday morning. And there's probably none of these for sale on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and the last class is just going to be talking about The last class, I think we'll we'll sort of figure out what that is as we get closer to it. Because okay. um, I, I don't want to, uh, I want it to be valuable, but I, I also don't want it to be, I mean, well, maybe we decide what it's for. Okay. You know I mean? Is it a party? I'll talk to you later about the yeah. last class. Oh, you have ideas? No, I'm um, not here. Okay. Oh, you're not here. I was just um, Okay. No, you the party. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that won't be any fun at all. <laughs> right. So um, we are. We are. Right. So this uh, part of the class, we're going to try to go. Uh, I think it says here. This is like a movie. So it's like two hours straight without a break. Um, so it's, it, I mean, if you think you're going to have any urges uh, in the next couple of hours, this is the time to take care of it. Um, <laughs> 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 um, and this is a little bit um, a by creative journey. Uh, so you're already doing this, right? Sit together with the Cambridge Yale's class. Um, so let's talk about what this is for. This is this comes from some of the uh, stuff that happened in the first and second draft of these papers, especially people that work with U-Journey, and it's not exactly clear what are you even like, really like what, um, and some of the conversation about uh, team dynamics and. Oh, you know, how do you, how, and it's also, I think, an example of creating together, creating socially, and getting into the roots of creating, not just deciding, I think we should draw roles from a hat. That's sort of, that's a surface fix, you know? So what's a surface <coughs> fix? Um, so this is a draft, a suggested draft of an intention for this part of the class. Um, we, Ron and I learned from Morley Album to write intentions as a question, because questions can be answered in many different ways. Um, how can our team do good work for our client, true to a shared purpose, while guarding the health of the team and each person in it? That's a proposed intention for your groups. Um, could you agree to work on that this evening? Mm -hmm. Yes. It asks you to be kind of present with that with that question. It's an intention. Like we're gonna, yeah, I'm going to pursue this intention for the next couple of hours. So thank you for agreeing to that intention. Um, so this is going to happen in a series of steps, and some of the steps involve individual work. So where you need to just write in a little or something, and some of them involve dialogue with your team or making something with your team. Um, but we need a safe place. If we're really going to work on this intention, we need to work with, with openness and, uh, and honesty and uh, kind of bring our whole selves to the task. And it may be that you, you, 
you'll find that it sort of brings you to uh, a question of, of being uh, vulnerable. So, oh. Um, so what I ask you to do is uh, make some promises to each other, to the people I want to meet. And I thought, uh, I'm going to read some suggested promises, and then if, if you can suggest changes or you can add to them when we're done, if you want. But uh, uh, I'm going to say the promises one at a time and invite comment, and then I'm going to ask you to say those promises to your team members so that you know we mean it. Um, okay, here's the first one. I promise that during this session, I will give you, my other team members, my attention. I will listen attentively. I will listen to you open. Well, that's too much. Well, that's one at a time. I promise you, I'll no, give you my attention. I will listen attentively. Are you okay promising that? Yep. Yeah. I will give you my I will. I will. I will. <laughs> yes. yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. I will, I will listen to you openly without judgment, seeking to understand. I will listen to you openly without judgment, seeking to understand. And Liz has a question. <laughs> <laughs> We're missing a person. Yes. And the main <laughs> the main difficulties in our group have been between me and Ruchika, and she's the one who's missing. Uh -huh. And I feel like I'm really excited to have this conversation, but I want her to be included. Yeah. And I I I want us to like make progress as a group, and I so. What do you recommend? Like, do we need to do this again when she's back, or is there some way to like channel her? Skype her. Like, she is seeing the spirit of the conversation. Thank you for that. Because I would say, if this was a you know more of a, a situation other than a class situation, you cannot proceed unless everyone's there. Right. You know, you just it, exactly. And even I would say, even if it wasn't the case that there had been some history there. Everybody has to be there because that's because the intention. Oh. Is Um, right, 
Okay, so remember that you remember that first part was about uh, giving attention and listening attentively without judgment. So there you were. Um, so it was like wedding vows back then. Um, okay, here's here's the second little set. There's only just two sets. I the second set. I promise to guard your trust. If you choose to say something personal, I will not repeat it to others outside the team. <laughs> I will guard your trust. I'm still on your clothes. I didn't see it. I didn't So that's guarding the other one's trust. If they give you something personal, you, you're going to hold it, right? You're going to guard it. You're going to not let it to. Here's the other part. I promise to give you my trust. If you say something that involves our team or me personally, I promise not to interpret it as a personal offense. I promise to give you my trust. So if you say something and I feel the reaction, I'm not going to interpret it personally. I'm going to step on others. You guys are saying that? No, it's not personally. If you feel, now it may be that you feel a little bit like you kind of, these promises may make you kind of lean back or withdraw, make you maybe a little uncomfortable. I don't know. Um, if that's so, uh, I mean, this kind of thing will work itself out in the conversations come. I mean, this may be scaring you, like, oh my God, what are we going to talk about? Um, <laughs> you set this up for some part because I'm just trying to create a safe room for, for honest conversation to happen. Yeah? Okay, here's the last one. I will I will assume the best of you and trust you to assume the best of me. Cheryl's course as in... It's a, so what, what sort of 
this this team is together working on the project for Cheryl's course. So, in that context, what do you deeply care about? You personally. <coughs> another 30 seconds or so. You may not be completely done, but I'm going to go to the next one. <clears throat> what value do you bring to the team? What are you good at? go back to that first question. Um, so we won't come back to the second one, but it, so if you're fooling around in your notes, know that this next part is connected to the first question. So you answered this why, you know, in this context, what do you deeply care about uh, in the context of this, this project for Cheryl's class? Um, so I'm going to ask you, I'll go kind of fast with this. Um, I'm going to ask you, the answer you put down, why? Why why that? The first one is that. For the first the first answer. So if you you have some answer for what you deeply care about. Why do you deeply care about that? Why do you deeply care about the thing?
you, I asked you what you deeply care about, and you wrote something down, and I asked you, why do you care about that? Why do you care about that? And, and you wrote an answer to that question. Uh, here's why I wrote that I deeply care about that. And now I want to ask you, why? Yeah. Why yeah. Did, you, did you write that? Why did you, why did you, why that answer? Mm -hmm. So now you have uh, an answer to why, why. There's a, we have, do we have why, why, why? I think we're going to have the answer to why, why, why. Um, so I have another question uh, for you. Uh, why that? <laughs> Breathe. <laughs> Breathe. That thing that you just wrote down. Why? And you're all wondering, is he going to do it again? <laughs> I have uh, one more question about this topic. Uh, the thing that you uh, just, just wrote, why? Why that? Why that? Why? Where does that come from? Yes. Yes. 
just want to add, when it's difficult to get to an answer, sometimes it's easier to almost think from your belly as opposed to your head. Yeah. Good, thank you. Yeah, what's your belly feel when I ask that? That fifth why? Question three. <laughs> um, we talked. So then we, we we talked about that. You might be down in your valley now. Um, what value do you bring to the team? What are you good at? We talked about. Okay. The next question. What is expected of you? Within the team. Yeah. Within the team. In this. So this is all about the context of the team and project. <coughs> what is it expected of you? Does that mean, like, like what if, what's people's already always listening of you? Or does that mean, uh, like, so what, if, what do they want from me? Or what do they expect to get from me based on what they already know of me? I think both of those are reasonable ways to phrase it. So I think it's what do you, what do you perceive? Uh, uh, how, how else would I ask that? Uh, what are you, you being asked to deliver? What are you being asked to give? How, how are you being expected to perform? Uh, how do you feel? Do you feel invited or pressured or demanded or uh, embraced for a particular reason? Yeah? I don't know if that was helpful or... could say what you feel is expected of you, what do you believe is expected of you. Client and or our team? Yeah, in the context of your team, yeah. But it's you personally. Yeah, but like what is my client expecting of me, or what is my teammate expecting of me? Or what yes, of you. Yeah. Not of your team. Less than a minute. Okay, next one. What do you need in order to thrive as a team? What do you what do you need? in order to thrive as a team member, to be a happy, productive, uh, good team member. And it's not what does anyone need, it's what you need. In this team or in general? Um, well, we're mostly we're talking about this team. I mean, the, the general may apply, probably.
you know, it, it's something that you really could take all morning with this. I could send you out into the woods with these questions. <laughs> um, a vision quest. A vision quest. Okay. What have you been wanting to say in the context of this team, but felt you could not? It's okay to say, I don't have anything like that, or I would prefer not to answer that, which is why we spent some time trying to create a sense of safety uh, together, make some promises to each other. What have you been wanting to say, but felt you could not? Yeah, just in a few seconds. Even if you don't get it all written out, you can make a reminder for yourself. So that's the first step. You can kind of consider these questions for yourself. Um, and then the next step is for you to hear one another. So it's not it's not so much discuss these answers is to really hear each other. So we'll give you, um, I don't know, probably it will take, and I'm guessing something like 15, 20 minutes. I'll tell you that we, you got to kind of move along because uh, we only have a certain amount of time. But so the, 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 the process is that each person, so you take one question at a time. So for the first question, each person gives their answer. So. Um, uh, let's, here's, uh, Ruchika's not here, so we'll just uh, use her as an example. So Ruchika uh, uh, reads her first answer. The other team members listen. And then the other team members say back to her, here's what we heard you say. And then Ruchika gets a chance to say, yes, except I would, I would want to adjust this thing that you said differently. Feel hurt? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you got. Yeah, that's what I said. Um, and uh, then Liz would give the, her answer to the first question. Yeah, go through the first question together, and then do the same thing with the next one. So the 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 goal of this step is for you all to be heard and not to discuss. So while you're listening, you know some of these things. I don't know what's here. So where you're listening, I don't know whether some will be hard to hear. Um, uh, we'll talk some about those reactions. But I would say just hold those reactions. If something makes you feel kind of angry or mystified or surprised or something, you know, there, there's a separate uh, place for, uh, for feeding back those kind of, working with that kind of stuff. Um, this is just a, your job is to hear the person, understand them. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. um, and you can you can do it here. If it gets too noisy or you're uncomfortable, you can go around the room. But I'm going to round you up in about 15. So you know, and that okay. probably is. Yes, sir? <coughs> First, we're just really looking for the last why, not the whole process. Just yeah. share the light as well. Good. Thank you. Oh. Sure. So, like the answer that you came yeah. to at the end of the so, yeah. 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 Start with the last one. 
this is Veronica. Together. <laughs> 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 um, we're just doing the last round. I believe that we're going to do the last round. Yeah, I think it's going to be a little bit of 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 a little b
So you go around one question one, and then you go around one question two. Okay. Okay. Versus like 
by telling me it doesn't belong there or it doesn't make sense. Like sometimes that's the process. Yeah. 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 To keep everything first. Yeah, versus like, no, that, that can't work for this, that, for the other reason. Like, I just need the ability to throw it all out. Oh, 
like, oh, yeah, that was my mom's class. It was like the math. Yeah, like, well, yeah, 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 yeah
Um, so now there's another step. We, uh, you know, got some stuff onto paper, got it heard by the team. Um, and this step, uh, honest to God, 10 minutes. Uh, <laughs> But uh, it's, I think it may seem like uh, a little bit, it may seem longer even than that 25 was just now. Um, this is the next step. Um, retreat and over. So here's... That doesn't sound good. That doesn't sound good. Um, so you just heard from your, from your team members. That's, that's a pretty rich thing to, to hear your team members and to, and to be heard. Um, so we're asking you to take the next 10 minutes to quietly reflect on what you've heard. And, and um, I wrote some notes kind of about why I'd like to invite uh, here. So I, I don't know. It's possible that you have felt some reactions to what you heard. Um, and so we ask good of it, you know. So I invite you to step back from that. Sometimes when you just heard something, and you have a reaction, it's right in front of your face, or it's, you know, it's, it's in your chest, or your throat, or your belly, there's this feeling. And uh, the things you just heard can be kind of in the foreground, so it's all you can see. So, it's not asking you to deny it, or turn away from it, to step back, so you can see the whole situation, the whole situation of your team, and the client, in the context, the people whose lives will, in the places that will be affected by this work that you guys are doing, Cheryl, whoever else uh, is involved in this. So there's a there's a whole to consider here. Um, a whole plus, hmm? a whole lot. Well, uh, I'm just going to call it a whole. <laughs> uh, with a W. Um, so what? The question is, what's the true picture of that whole? So for 10 minutes, just be here, be open, and, and hear whatever comes. And one thing is not to, to try not to think about it. I'm not asking you to figure it out. Uh, you don't have to be able to describe it. You don't have to be able to understand it. Just wait for the truth of the situation. This is a, kind of a, a chance to practice a little bit different kind of understanding. Sometimes we, under, we understand something uh, part of ourselves understand if it isn't the figure it out part, yeah? Um, so you, you might recognize this sense of like, I, I kind of have a true picture by maybe a kind of excitement or maybe a kind of relief. Um, and you might have to wait for that. So you can draw, you can write things, you can make words, you can doodle, you can do whatever, um, but start where you are, and the way to get to this true sense of what what you see as, as the whole is to be just stay present with what is. So I ask you not to leave the area, I mean not to leave, the, you know, sort of stay around here. Um, if you need to pace and you're not going to disturb other people, then that's okay. But, uh, yeah, does that uh, make sense? Any questions about what we're asking you to do? No. no. This is uh, quiet. Uh, I feel, if you feel like muttering to yourself, <laughs> then, uh, <laughs> probably just inner muttering. <laughs> and we only have 10 minutes. You only have 10 minutes. Yeah. yeah. So, and it, you know, it's wherever you get in 10 minutes. And if you get nothing, then that's what happened in that day. Yeah. Um, and uh, so it's 10 minutes um, with yourself. Anything to add on? No? Okay.
Discussion about this. So so far, it's been listening to each other, getting a sense of what is, retreating, letting something come. Um, so uh, we'll give you uh, some time in a group to talk about. I don't know. It may be uh, uh, something like another ten minutes, probably something like that. Um, maybe a little less because we've got some work to do after this. We finally get to start creating. Um, so just a few minutes. Uh, what came to you as when you listened? Like kind of show and tell or report in, in the retreat? <coughs> what did you come back with, if anything? Um, did you experience some kind of shift? Did you start someplace at the beginning of the 10 minutes and wind up in a different place at the end of the 10 minutes? If so, uh, let people know about it. Um, what do you think is possible now uh, for your team in this project, in this class? So give each person an answer, a chance to answer those uh, questions and then discuss. So each person should probably answer fairly quickly some of the tables have five or six people, so um, yeah, it's going to take ten minutes. So I'll, I'll kind of let you know uh, when it's half done and when it's almost done. But yeah, <laughs> off you. Thank you. 
one thing that I really felt that for me was that one. That one.
Leave me on this hand. Exactly. That's where my brain is going. I don't know if that's It may be hard if you think about it and talk about it, it might be really hard to get to. But if you just kind of bleh, I think that's... I don't know why. I'm just kidding. Yeah, that's a big one. Possibility built into you. So, what's the thing where you say, 
does making this choice further our purpose or does it not? It'll, it helps you. Um, uh, it, it helps you make these really hard choices. So it could be a, a, a little concept map, it could be a sentence like that, it could be a phrase like, what did I say, learn by uh, 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 creating to give, or I mean, it could be some like mess like that. But it's got to be something you can hold on to. Yeah. And, uh, wait, and Hannah is starting to say, go ahead. I think it's, it's, a, it's an answer to the question of your reason for being. You know, why are you as a team? What's the essence that you want to bring into the world? Yeah. Via this project. Via this project, so yeah. I mean, some, you hear stories from uh, television and movies, you know, like I've heard that The Simpsons has a purpose. Every episode is about this family loves one another unconditionally. <laughs> so they may screw all sorts of screwy episodes, but in the end, something, right? So I don't know if we could have time to be that clever, uh, but uh, see what you can find. And of course, having said that, you just got about another five minutes. But it's a conversation that can continue. That's just this class, right? I mean, we're going to push through this example. It doesn't mean you have to stop talking about it. Once class. We just need to go on to the next step so we can get through the Yeah. Yeah.
that how you say it? Just be so that. 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 Just be so that
folks, I'm going to bring this phase to a close. Um, we have, so, if you can feel what's, uh, what's happening. Uh, did you just turn your volume on? Do you need to talk about I'm getting a little bit of a noise over here. I think it's a little bit of a noise. Alright, we got to move on. Um, we got to move on. We got to move on. So, we use bolts. Um, of course, you know, it may take longer to find something that uh, really feels like true for your team, like an anchor for your team. It might take longer than 10 or 15 minutes. Um, but, so we got there on a, on a little bit of a journey. Uh, we didn't just say, well, what's your team's purpose? There was some leading into that. And, uh, so this next step is kind of, maybe you don't really want to take this next step until you feel like you've kind of nailed the step before. So this purpose thing may be unfinished. In which case, if you choose as a team to continue this work after class in the next, in the days to come, then I would say, get, get, kind of get the purpose thing down and then continue with this. But I want to show you this next step and give you a little chance to discuss it um, we're, we're going to be short on time, and I just want to make sure that we wind up the class in a way. So I'm just going to give you like 10 minutes or so on this next uh, step, so you can get a feel for where this will go. And that is, um, begin creating. So, questions like, what does it mean? So if this is your purpose, what does it mean for your team to do good work? What's good work? If that's your purpose. What's it, what does it mean for your team and your project to be healthy? If that's your purpose. How would you recognize health in your team? What would it look like if your work remains true to your team's purpose? So if you step back at the end of the term and you're asking, did we do good work? What, what about your work will you look at? Um, and you say, did we stay true to our purpose? How, what will you look at to, uh, to answer that question? Is our team healthy? Um, when, when did we notice when it wasn't? And talk about how to bring it back into health. What, what is that? Um, so the what's before the how. So I think about these characteristics, whether they're measurements or feelings or something about the conversation or something about participation, something about contribution, something about the quality of the products that you make. Then you can talk about how. Okay, if once we know what good work is, how can we do good work together? Now we're starting finally to get to the middle layer of like organization and process and roles and conversation, those kinds of things. How can you do good work together? How can you work together so you preserve or increase the health of the team? Now that we've talked about what healthy is, how do we preserve it or, or grow it? Um, how can we work together so the work remains true to your purpose? So how will we notice when we're off course? How will we notice when we made a decision that's counter to the purpose or, or pulls us off course? The purpose is it's, a, it's, a, it's an anchor. It's something you're standing on. But it's also it can be kind of a, a point that you're heading toward, um, so you can totally you know this that you're. So you know this kind of conversation can can give you some tools so that when you're discussing decisions, or you're discussing trade-offs, or you're discussing priorities, you've got kind of a foundation for your for your team. Yeah. Um, so, I don't know, I mean, that's so much that it feels kind of funny to turn you loose and give you 10 minutes and, uh, and um, let's see, we're at a fork in the road. I think, so, 
here's a choice. Um, I could give you 10 or 15 minutes to start that, but there's no way you're going to finish that in 10 or 15 minutes. I think you get, well, you tell me if you don't get what I'm talking about. You get what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. yes. Okay, so one choice is that you just kind of start on that, and then I interrupt you, and then maybe wind up class. Uh, the other is that we take some time to discuss the reading. Uh, that reading uh, about trauma um, and Hana, who suggested the reading, is online here, and we can have a conversation about that. I think first we would debrief about what just happened a little bit, about what this was. It's all right, but it's okay to kind of stop here. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. So I'll upload these slides. We'll have these questions. Um, and so the, the point of this is, so we, the, there, there aren't, there's really a seventh step, which would be sort of surfacing that. I mean, I think the hows really are where you're starting to organize your team and you're starting to figure out processes and things like it may be that like when everybody's whenever someone makes something it gets an ed editorial pass by this person or this person owns the the production or you, you may in the house you may get down to some nitty gritty so I mean that's kind of 6b or step 7 or something but you're finally getting down to nitty gritty but you've got it rooted in this other stuff what, uh, what is this next slide? I don't remember what it says. <coughs> oh, now I have to move that down and move it back up. Um, yeah. So, um, any comments on what we just did together or questions about what we just did together? Establishing that it's like a safe space for us, a uh, respectful environment that we, where we can express better than what we used to. That was that was useful. That, that better than what we used to. Oh. In previous instance. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was super awesome. It really helped our group. Yeah. Like it was great that we got to like think of things for ourselves and then come together and talk about them and like think of things as a group and really start to like stop being individuals and start thinking as a unit and it was like really the first time that I think we've all done it as a group mm -hmm. and then we got to sit down and express something together and it, it works way better this time. <laughs> Holy moly. We did yeah. a we did a couple of sort of courses. Um but like it worked way better this time than it has, I think, up until <laughs> in our whole project. Mm -hmm. So Being it was really honest. So it, that this exquisite corpse is an expression of your purpose? Is that right? Or it's a, just something you decided to make together? I think it was an expression of like super Can we do you want the um, people are wondering what we're talking about? Yeah. Um, you guys want to explore the corpses? Yeah. Oh, we're like What's an exquisite corpse? Yeah, so I like, like, pulled up the surreal and then each person, like the, the first person draws on the first line and leave a little bit showing, so then the next person gets to draw. So you started drawing, yeah. some of the people, oh, the next right. person picks up and follows. And I don't think that it's like an expression <laughs> of our purpose as a team. But like, yeah. uh, on this project, but I think that like it was a really useful tool and a fun way to like, I don't know, I'd have to really think about it more. more, 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 more. It's, it's a kind of co-creation. Right? We needed, we needed a, to make something together. Yeah, after all we needed that. to make something together. Yeah. Yes, like Luigi's fan. They need to make something together. Yes. Uh, any other comments or questions about? I would just be interested in hearing a little bit about it. Creating safe spaces and trusting spaces, like we're all yeah. students together in the same cohort and working on teams together. Yeah. So recognize that that's something that we need to do to be able to move together yeah. productively, but maybe that's not always the case. Then. Right. Well, so the, in the next uh, week and more, 
Um, we're going to be talking about the dialogue, facilitating dialogue, and creating the space and holding the space are uh, some terminology that those folks use. Um, and, you know, we use some specific, this idea of making promises to each other, but the, the, um, the thing about, uh, I mean, about safety, about, uh, about trust, and, uh, we, you know, when we did uh, this work at Whirlpool, where they um, kind of discovered that they all cared about quality, um, I think I told yes. that story, yeah, and, and we tried, there was this uh, thing that happened where we, uh, we got agreement that, uh, that people would talk about um, things that they didn't feel comfortable talking about, and they did, and it was brave, you know, and it really made a difference, and then the next day, um, a couple of new people came, mm -hmm. and they, they didn't have the same sense of we are in this together and we've made promises to each other. We didn't do an explicit promise thing with them, but they, I mean, they sort of did it themselves. They said, we're going to talk about this stuff. I need to, I, you know, they started telling stories about when they'd been kind of ratted out about uh, talking about the elephants. Um, so I think there's some some tips and tricks that will wind up in your book about, like, hey, if new people come, what do you do? Kind of stuff. Um, and I don't know if you noticed, but this, if I show you the, uh, here, I'll show you the sheet where we planned this. Um, I find it. Um, well, it's pretty hard to see. But it's, uh, here's the first thing, and then here's the next thing, and here's the next thing, and here's the next thing, and then here's the next thing. Do you see a shape? <laughs> and did we intervene with each of your teams to try to understand what was going on, what was your purpose, and then... You know, it was really just saying, hey, you guys, here's a frame. Let's sort of go on a conversational and reflective journey together. Um, before we start talking about how you organize your team, let's just talk about what's going on. And it's not what's broken or what's dysfunctional. It's how do you see it? How do you see it? What do you offer? What do you bring? What's uh, what's on your mind? How do you see? And then just make sure you're heard. And even if you said some things, I don't know, it didn't really seem like any, I don't know if any dangerous things were said. Partly we've had the last couple of weeks. The flood helped here. Uh, um, it's not how do we resolve that. It's like that's part of what is. So if I step back from that and I see that our situation is that like, Personality, different ways of seeing it, a mm, little frustration, client. Okay, what is that thing? Now it's possible. What's the purpose of this thing? Because every every team and every project has flaws and frustrations and personality conflicts, and so it's just part of what it is to be a team. So it's always the question, well, us with our flaws, when we show up with the client, what is it we're trying to do, and how do we know if we've done a good job, and how are we going to get there? Including the flaws and the frustrations and the personality conflicts. Yeah? Um, so that was an example, one example of a two and a half hour new journey. We didn't go all the way up, so we didn't get you to prototype. So we could get to the place if we got through this what and how, then we could do role play. And we could, we could prototype, we could say like, oh, you think of three hows. Uh, how will we do good work? And, and role play them. And then we'll talk about it. You know, there's, there's all kinds of like little 
ways we could explore up the right hand of, of the unit. Can I ask about what we just did? Is this a um, approach or a method? <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a so I was if, if the U is an approach, so for an approach is very general, right? right? I could apply it to lots of different situations. Last week, um, our good friend, what's his name? Hmm? Rio yeah. Sky. Yeah. Yes. Joe. 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 Um, talk about applying it to child malnutrition in Vietnam, but 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 he he kind of that movie kind of went through an approach of like well what is and then reflect and then right? Sorry, India. India. When I say Vietnam, I mean India. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> and um, so we took the same general approach you know, of, of let's not go right to solution first let's get let's see through each other's eyes let's step back and reflect we took that same general approach and applied it to your teams in a two or three hour constraint so if you look so very different plan very different facilitation plan project plan but same general structure because there's because it's based on if you read the front part of the review on this idea of how dialogue works so people start by just talking at each other they say what's on their mind but there's a way to invite them to look a little deeper in themselves and then talk from there and there's a way to set up a situation where they actually hear it instead of listening through their own filters they just look right so that structure is built on that that did that help? I think yeah. the distinction between approach and method is is not a tidy, clean one. Um, so sorry to worry about it. <laughs> I think that maybe I'll put it this way: having you write down your answers separately and then come back and share them with each other, and having you say back to each other what you heard, I'd call that a method. There's lots of ways we might have set it up so that you got to think about it and then you got to have it. Another way to help people see through each other's eyes is that we make we follow you around and make a documentary of, of what it's like to be you. And, uh, and then everybody watches it together. Or another method for seeing through each other's eyes would be to um, everybody goes to each other's, spend a night at each other's house. <laughs> I mean, there's all kinds of methods. But yeah. so the goal at that point in the approach is to, to see through each other's eyes. Um, okay, we have about 10 minutes. So, Hannah, will you be, uh, oh, quick break. <laughs> <Fine>. <laughs> <laughs> Will you be heartbroken if we don't have a discussion about the book? No. Okay. Well, oh, good. Because we don't want more trauma. Um, but I, I saw that, you know, it's starting to show up in your uh, reflection papers that you're sending. And, uh, and I, I couldn't hear very well when you guys were having your meeting last week. But it felt important. So uh, I appreciate uh, what you folks all uh, shared, what you brought to that. Um, okay, uh, reading an assignment. The assignment's easy. You're used to doing this. Uh, a reflection paper on this creative journey, this experience in class tonight. Uh, personally, your experience of it, and professionally, the journey as an example of working with theory. Yeah? And if that's still confusing, we'll talk about it. Um, and then there's a reading. This book, so David Bohm, David, David Bohm, B-O-H-M, 
Um, this is a book that actually is another one uh, it, it doesn't hurt to own. It's thin and not very expensive. Uh, Bohm uh, was a physicist, a sort of top, like a colleague of Einstein. And, uh, but he got frustrated with how scientists talk to each other, with weird little political battles and so on, and how that that hampered scientific progress and learning about the world. And then he also was very concerned about society. And he realized that what he was seeing in his community was uh, just a, a special case, a micro version of what was happening in the world. Um, and so he got interested in dialogue. He wrote this book on dialogue. Um, and so we've said that we're going to be covering different ways to facilitate dialogue among our group of people so that it sort of gets somewhere. <laughs> and and um, a lot of them are based on, it's actually, it's called Bohmian dialogue. Mm -hmm. It's a special, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, a way for a group of people to converse together. Um, and so there's a bunch of versions that really are kind of Let's try it this way, let's try it this way. All sorts of different schemes for facilitating Bohmian dialogue. And then there's other things that aren't based on that. But it's a good kind of foundation text. So I'm going, I don't have it up yet, but tomorrow I'm going to upload, uh, I don't know, it's the assignment is going to be, it's, it's uh, two fifths. It's, a, it's, a, it's near, nearly half the book. <laughs> Uh, it's, it's actually, for a physicist, he writes clearly, conversationally, it's not hard reading, and it's interesting. So, um, I'm going to upload his point of view. Uh, there's a foreword in here by Peter Senke, um, which is pretty good, of course. So, Senke, new bone, that makes sense. So Bohm, there's roots up there, you, you know, there's roots, there's not roots, but you know, there's a history there. Um, so I'll upload his uh, point of view on communication and then this chapter on dialogue, and uh, that's the reading. Cool. And cool. we also have to do our first draft? Well, I, I think you should think about how you're going to make progress. Mm -hmm. At least make a plan for yourself and start doing it uh, for your, your big... Uh, Thing. And actually, on that, I thought of something while who came to me while we were retreating. It was about that assignment. <laughs> um, you know, so we're, we, why that assignment about making that book? Partly is to uh, ask you to spend time getting paying attention to gathering what you've learned in a way that's useful. But when you think about it, it's kind of how often do you get an assignment? that has that much creative freedom and sort of invites you to make something special for yourself and for your peers. I mean, it's kind of. So, um, if I know you're busy, I know you have a lot of conflicting choices to make, but you can play with this thing. Um, and you're the audience for it. Um, so make it good. Okay, uh, I heard a joint from Thomas to Rashi. Um, he was one that I had was one for her. So, if you want. She's breaking up, but I know what she said. <laughs> uh, she's, uh, the book that this uh, last reading on trauma came from. Um, there's more selections that Anna's excited about, and she's asking if you would like her to upload. I think we would call them optional readers. Yes, Anna. Yes. And run this out of some of the things. So, uh, so she's offering to continue uploading some things on that same theme as optional readers. Yes, please. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're getting a big yes, please. And that was a thumbs up. And a kiss.
<laughs> nice. Thank you very much. Yeah. See you next time.
there was there were a lot of safety issues. That was one of the things that um, was complicated that didn't allow me to come back so quickly. But um, yeah, I mean, I'm fine. I'm fine. So, okay. well, My family li lived in the area. They, we had a, a couple of family issues going on, but it was everything was resolved. Uh, yeah, just. I think the worst, one of the things that's most difficult to recuperate from is the money factors. It's like, you don't expect that something like this can make you lose so much money, but it's so yeah. yeah.